here and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool paper mache bowl. So come with me. So to start with we're going to need a bowl of some sort. So I have this little bowl. You're going to need some foil and then you're going to need some cooking spray or if you have some vegetable oil. Um, this is just going to help it so our paper mache does not stick to the bowl. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my bowl and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cover this in foil. tucking in the ends underneath my bowl. I'm going to press it down really well. Then I'm going to take this cooking spray and I'm just going to spray the top of this bowl. So there's three different ways you can make paper mache. The first way is with flour and water. So I'm going to actually show you that method, but I also want to mention that if you don't have flour or a lot of flour, flour to use, you can also do it with um, just plain Elmer's glue. And when you're doing it with the glue, it's one cup glue to three-fourths cup water. So, and it doesn't have to be Elmer's, it can just be a generic brand of glue. Another way you can make paper mache is with this Elmer's, it's called Art Paste. And you can buy this at any of your Hobby Lobby, Michaels, craft stores. Um, this looks like it's really small. It's a powder that you actually add water to and it makes a whole lot. So when I use this, I only use a small amount of this because um, a little bit goes a long way. And this can be stored in the fridge and last up to um, weeks. But I'm going to show you the flour and water. Um, so you will need flour, one cup of water, one cup of flour. You're going to need a bowl and you're going to need a whisk. And then of course since we're making paper mache, you are going to need paper. So I've already um, cut up and torn some newspaper into some small strips. You can also use if you have like construction papers. I have a bunch of this pink paper that I am using. Um, you can also use tissue paper as well. But if you use tissue paper, I recommend putting like a layer of newspaper or magazine down first and then doing a layer of tissue paper on top. And that's a really great way to add color. So if you don't have paint and you want to add a certain color, you can use tissue paper or color construction paper. So I'm going to take one cup of flour. Put that in my bowl. And then I'm going to add one cup of water into my bowl. And then I'm going to use a whisk and I just want to really mix this really well so there is no lumps or clumps. So paper mache actually is a French word. It translates to chewed or mashed paper, so like pulp paper. Make sure you get the edges here and get it all combined really well. It should be the consistency of like pancake batter, so you don't want it too runny, but you don't want it too thick. You can see how it's pretty thick, but it's not thick enough where it isn't liquid a little bit. So then once you have that, make sure you have your paper ready. So I have a bunch of torn newspaper, but if you don't have newspaper, you can also use magazines. You can use gift wrap. You can use construction paper. You can use tissue paper. I also have some, um, I have a bunch of this hot pink uh, construction paper I'm going to use as well. And then I am also um, took off my watch and I'm wearing an apron and I'm working on newspaper because this will get messy. So make sure that you have some kind of work surface that is a clean area that you can easily clean up with after you're done. So when you're doing the paper mache, you want to dip your paper into the paste. Then you're going to use your fingers like they are a pair of scissors and you are going to press your fingers and get off all the extra paste. 
like so. And then you're gonna lay it on top of your bowl and then you're gonna use your fingers and lightly press it down. And we wanna make sure that we cover in this entire bowl, so all the way down to the sides here. And then I'm just gonna repeat this process. And our goal is to do two layers of paper and you can overlap the paper. So dip it into the paste. Use your fingers like a pair of scissors. Squeeze off the extra paste. Lay on top of your bowl and then use your fingers to kind of press it down. You notice how I'm like overlapping the pieces a little bit. And then you're going to just keep on repeating this. Your goal is to do cover the entire bowl once and then do it again. So you have two layers. That will make it extra solid. If you get a lot of paste on here, instead of dipping my paper into the paste, I can dip my paper onto my bowl bowl here and pick up some of the extra paste and then lay it down. So now that I have one full layer on my bowl, so I have all of my bowl covered up. I'm not worried about the inside. You don't want to do this part, but you can't see the foil anymore. Now I'm going to move on and I'm actually going to do a newspaper layer. So that way I can tell that I covered this all. So once I can no longer see pink, that means I have two layers of paper mache on. Now that I have my bowl fully covered, I'm going to let this dry in a warm place. So I'm either going to put this by the heater vent or by a sunny window, and it should take about 24 hours to dry. And you can tell it's dry when you can't feel any wet paper anywhere. So it will take a few hours to dry, so give it at least 24 hours. So I let my bowl dry for 24 hours and I had it by a window and also a heating vent and I can tell it's completely dry because it's now pretty hard and I don't feel any wet areas. So now it's time to remove our paper mache bowl from our bowl base. So what you're going to do is lightly peel this foil away. And then we're going to remove the foil from the bowl. I'm going to be as gentle as possible. Oh, here comes Theo to check out what I'm doing. So I got my bowl out. Now what I'm going to do is crunch in the foil being careful to remove my bowl. So I'm just pulling in the foil. I'm being pretty gentle. And remember, I did two layers of paper. My first layer was hot pink paper, and then my second layer was newspaper. So, now I have this awesome bowl, which is hard. And you notice the first paper I put down, which was the hot pink, is on the inside of the bowl. And then the outside of my bowl is the last layer I did, the second layer, which is the newspaper. Now I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut just the top end of this bowl off where it's kind of rough to make it more even. like so. So now what you can do is you can paint it and design it however you want. If you use construction paper, then you can leave it whatever color. Um, if you use newspaper, you can take markers, pencils, paints, and make a decorative little design on it. You can add words to it. You can draw pictures on it, whatever you'd like. So remember, I want to see your creation, so send me a picture.